Yer, this perp back with another video. Just got done watching Power Book 4, Force, Season 1, Episode 4. I'm really enjoying this series, man. It's it's given me a lot, man, for me personally. I know a lot of people are kind of mixed with it, but let's let's cut the bullshit and get right into it. It starts off where the last episode left, left off with Gloria and Tommy pretty much fucking you know what I'm saying? And it seems like, you know, Tommy, Tommy getting weared out. <laughs> but anyways, that aside, you know, Jay is really feeling some type of way with just the way Diamond's been acting and just how he was easily able to just take his position like that. So Jay definitely is plotting. On the other side of things, you have Liliana and um, Tommy trying to continue to navigate through the city and figure things out they want to make this uh deal go down with the uh the yardies for some odd reason they have uh a weird reputation but tommy really doesn't care so tommy tells liliana, liliana to go follow um claudia let me know what she's up to then we get into claudia and she's really making her own moves behind her father's back we meet this guy named Reggie. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what his name was. And, you know, he's the, the Latino guy. He's the Latino drug dealer. So we're going to see how that goes and how that relationship is going to kind of where I, I'm just curious to see where they're going to take that. Cause I, I feel like this guy is kind of a little wishy-washy. Now this is one of my my favorite scenes of Tommy and Diamond at the uh at this coffee shop. He asked the dude like, "Yo, can I get a coffee?" <laughs> and he's like, "What what do you think this is? Starbucks?" And Diamond's like, "Yo, just go get, get some cookies." So, and then the, this guy, he's like, "Yo, so we're Mrs. Fields or some shit?" That shit was funny. So, this is the big 3 right here. Vic, Diamond, and Tommy. And they're trying to just change things and you know move in a different direction vic is pretty much done being underneath his father's wing diamond's trying to just you know help tommy you know get what he wants and you know uh and he still gets his cut of everything without just getting his hands dirty which i feel like diamond's going to have to get his hands dirty eventually in this series moving things along though we got some interesting things so as liliana is pretty much spying or just following um claudia Polly has a son didn't even know he lives on the street he's homeless and i'm curious to see the backstory on that because like we're getting little tidbits of just Polly's backstory and who he is and where this is gonna go i, I don't know you know he wants his son to get into rehab very interesting stuff so we have diamond Tommy and Vic, they try to meet with the Yardies and try to make this deal so they can, like, get some more uh, connections around the city and stuff and, you know, try to do something different. But, you know, Elijah calls and says, yo, the feds are, uh, now nah, the cops are coming. Get out of there. You got the boy Seamus. He's there and he sees Vic. Uh, we'll get into that. So going over to Claudia supply is looking very thin you know she's sitting there making promises to people and you know she can't have that you you sit there and make deals with people and you come short up on like pretty much product it's gonna be a problem so she wants to find this chemist we'll get into that later very awkward scene you know so as that whole uh deal with the yardies kind of went left all these deals are kind of getting kind of fucked up um, I've noticed that Vic and Tommy, you know what I'm saying? They, they have a really, really weird kind of relationship and Vic is super obsessed with Gloria. And even Tommy calls us out like, you're weird, bro. Like you are willing to do these deals with me, even though you know that I'm banging your old chick and stuff like that. It, it's really weird what Vic is doing and just that's his weakness right there is glorious. So I'm still curious to see where they're going to take Vic and Tommy's relationship because it seems like Vic somewhat likes Tommy, but doesn't 
or it's just kind of keeping him close to the chest. I don't know. So then we go over to Diamond and Jannard, and Jay is just really fed up with Diamond because he has some type of vendetta against Tommy. He said, ever since Tommy got here, you've been acting different. You've been acting weird. And he pretty much gives him an ultimatum, like, you either choose me or Tommy. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like Jannard is... He wouldn't has he he would kind of hesitate to kill his brother but he'd get somebody else to do it so yeah very interesting stuff so we get vic and walter talking and vic starts to kind of put his big boy pants on and you know gets a little bit of an attitude with his father and you know walter realizes that you know his way of doing things is not working and vic just wants to do things differently to kind of make the family business boom even more instead of like, you know, living in the past. But it's really more so about just Gloria with Vic. You know, he feels like if you can't accept me or you can't accept uh, Gloria for who she is, then, you know, I I don't care what you have to say. I'm going to do what I need to do. Um without your say so speaking of gloria real quick like out of everything that i've seen so far of this ep of the series these first four episodes i still don't like the whole tommy and gloria storyline i just never thought that tommy even needs like a love interest but i understand it's just for the uh that's kind of like for fan service i guess or just like not fan service i would say more of the soap opera aspect of power to keep that in there. I just don't think it's necessary. I don't really like Gloria as a character. That's just me personally. I I know some people like her character, but I just feel like she's kind of pointless and it's just kind of like a plot device. I don't know. It's it's weird. Now Walter pulls up on Tommy pretty much threatening him saying like if anything happens to my son or anything or my family I'm going to come for you first. And Tommy's like, no, maybe I'm helping your son, you know, kind of step up. While this is going on, you have Liliana going back to her spot after following uh, Claudia. And she gets jumped by these dudes. We'll get into that very shortly, though. But shifting things over to Tommy and JP, and I, I always like these two's interaction we always get more information about the family you know um we meet uh jp's father and he already kind of doesn't like tommy or he just feels like he's up to no good and they're just sitting there chopping it up while seamus pretty much confronts vic about him being um uh, at that meeting with the uh the yardies and i feel like these two their relationship is going to go south and maybe Vic is going to have to get rid of Seamus or, you know what I'm saying? I feel like somebody's going to have to get rid of this guy. I feel like he's pretty disposable at this point. Uh, Liliana, though, is getting pretty much, you know, tortured at this point to ask, like, where's our drugs? You know what I'm saying? And you think that she gave up Tommy's name, but in the text, she pretty much puts ghost and that was pretty much her just leading them astray kind of distracting them because tommy comes in for the save and blows one dude's head off but then we come to find out that this group is jason's people you know what i'm saying but they're the chicago faction or whatever you want to call it you know what i'm saying so Tommy is kind of alarmed by this because it's like they didn't really like Jason. Jason was kind of uh, kind of like a problem for for Tommy and stuff like that. So that's going to bring more problems. So they got to have to figure this out. So they go to Diamond's barbershop and Liliana pretty much um, has to chill there for a minute. But her and Jay have some history. And I feel like. I, I don't know where that's going to go. And Jay was pre pretty much saying like, yo, Liliana, I'll pay you whatever he's paying you double to just off Tommy because she's the closest one to Tommy. So, but I already think that Tommy doesn't even trust Liliana, but 
is starting to kind of, she's starting to kind of grow on him. And her whole thing is all about money, but I feel like it's, there's more to her character. I don't know. I, I still am kind of on the fence with her character. Let me know how you guys feel about her in the comments below. Going over to Diamond and Tommy. Tommy kind of wants Diamond to help him with like getting this pipeline going. Um, but Diamond's like, yo, I don't want nothing to do with the Serbs and stuff. That's your problem. You're going to have to deal with it by yourself. And then Tommy's like, all right, it's cool. But I like how they're kind of explaining the business. It's, it's very detailed and stuff like that. Like t what Tommy wants, he just, he, he, he wants to control the city pretty much. He wants, he wants it for his own. Now, this is one of my, another one of my favorite scenes that we get JP's son, about to light his whole spot on fire and stuff. But then JP comes out, stops him. His boy runs off, though. But JP kind of gets uh, stuck. And he's just like, man, he, he kind of gets emotional. And I'm wondering where they're going to take that. Is he going to approach him? Or is JP going to realize, like, yo, that might be my son? Really interesting things here. So Claudia is finally able to meet with the chemist. The chemist doesn't know exactly what's going down. So she pretty much gets forced into cooking by uh, Claudia using blackmail against her. Like, if you don't do this, this will come out and this will ruin you pretty much. So I, I like Claudia, man. She's she's really growing on me. So Tommy pretty much at the end of this episode handles most of the, the rest of the serfs, uh, the Serbs. This was Jason's wife, I'm I'm assuming, and so he ends up getting rid of all of them, which he already knows by just the look on his face that you know the uh that this is going to cause some problems for him. There's just he's just stacking up enemies at this point. But I really enjoyed this episode, just the way characters are moving. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, I'm out.